What's going on? George Wohar. In this video, I'm going to go over a four-step process in order for you to reprogram your subconscious mind. Now, the importance of reprogramming your subconscious mind is your subconscious mind is in control of your identity and your identity is in control of your reality. So if your subconscious mind continues to play the same thoughts over and over again and you continue to hold on to the same beliefs, your reality is going to remain the same. It doesn't matter what new strategies or what new tactics that you try, because even though you're doing something different, masked as something different, in reality, you're doing the same exact thing because you are showing up as the same version of yourself. Jumping in to let you know that we're doing 10 minute power and purpose consult calls with those who are entrepreneurs or looking to become entrepreneurs and are serious about stepping into a higher version of themselves. You can click on the link in the description in order to schedule your call. And once we jump on, we'll get clear on what's holding you back and what those next steps are for you and potentially see if you're a good fit to join us inside of the upcoming power and purpose accelerator. So what do these four steps consist of in order to reprogram your subconscious mind? Number one is accept. So A-C-C-E-P-T, accept. Now, what exactly is it that you're accepting throughout this process? You're accepting where you currently are right now in life, and you're accepting the things that occurred in the past that got you to where you are. So you get to take the time to actually sit with and write down. There's usually some things, some catalytic things in our lives that cause our identity to be where it is today. Now, I know for myself, it was like seeing my dad going to jail when I was younger. That was something that programmed my mind. Seeing my mom as a single mom. Like these were things that programmed my mind and set my mind up. So I acted in accordance to these things. And I got to really look into these things and accept all the things that happened and all the things that occurred. Then also accept where I was in life, not achieving the goals that I wanted, not hitting the targets, maybe procrastinating, not doing the things that I wanted to do in life. I got to accept that and become one with that and be okay with that. Because if you're not okay with that and if you don't look into these things, then what's gonna happen? They're gonna continue to linger in the back of your mind. And even though consciously you're not thinking about them, subconsciously, it's like, this is you right here. There's a weight around your ankle and it's holding you back. And you're just dragging this weight every single day with you unknowingly, but the weight is there. So you get to accept these things in order to understand what is in your life and become okay with it. So number one is accept. Number two, the next stage is to forgive. So you get to forgive yourself, forgive whoever else it was, forgive who was involved in any situations. Because if we don't forgive and we continue to hold on to any feelings of anger, any feelings of resentment, that's lowering our vibration. That's lowering our frequency. And if your vibration and frequency is low and it's not aligned with what it is that you want in life, so like the goals that you have set for yourself, they're in a higher vibration or a higher frequency of joy, happiness, love. But if you're continuously sitting in this frequency of resentment, of hate, of anger, these negative feelings and emotions are blocking you from achieving the things that you want. It's like a radio station, right? Let's say you want to listen to country music, but you're on the rap station. If you want to listen to country music, you're on the rap station. You're not going to be able to listen to the country music because you're tuned to a different frequency. It's like static in a radio. The negativity is the static and it's blocking you from actually allowing yourself to achieve and step into the version of yourself that you want to be. So step number two is forgive. You forgive everyone involved in your life or everyone involved in the situations. Myself, I forgave my dad for, for being on, in jail and on drugs when I was growing up. I forgave him at, that, at this point. I forgave him in my mind first, and then I forgave him in person. And this released so much weight and so much hate and so much anger and so much resentment and that lower vibration, that lower frequency that I was on, I opened up the gates in order to allow myself to rise to a higher frequency and higher vibration. Because like we went over here, it's like a weight on your ankle and it's just holding you back and keeping you from stepping into the version of yourself that you desire to be. So we have accept, forgive, and number three, is release. So you're releasing these things out of your life. Now you're completely letting go of them. And there's so much power and so much beauty in letting go. You can accept it. Okay, this is what happened. This is where I'm at. Great. You can forgive it. I forgive you. But if you still hold on to it, then you still, you're building up resentment and you still have these negative feelings and emotions inside of you that are lowering your vibration. 
you get to release and let it go. You get to go, okay, I am done with this. And there are different processes for this. So in order to step in through these stages, dear whatever your name is, myself, dear George, I accept this, 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 this situation. I accept that you're in this position right now in life and everything that occurred in the past. I accept my dad for being in and out of jail and on drugs. I accept my uh, this situation. I accept that situation. And I accept you. I accept you for not achieving your goals, for procrastinating, for partying, for doing this, for not taking action on the things that you know you needed to take action on. I accept you for not being disciplined. You're writing a letter to yourself. I accept you and I forgive you for this. I forgive you because... Then you go through the line of why you forgive yourself. I forgive my dad because then you go through the line of why you forgive that person. And now I fully release it and let it go. Thank you for me being aware. You get done with that. And then what do you get to do? You get to take a little mat, a little lighter, light the piece of paper on fire that you wrote everything on and let it go. Because your subconscious mind is now seeing and feeling and you're activating a part of you that goes, okay, it is released out of my life. So now all these situations and stories and stuff, obviously you still remember them. It's not like the men in black where now you got a thing and they they do it and now your memory's gone. That's not what's occurring, but you're allowing yourself to accept it, to forgive it, to release it. Now your identity moving forward and your thought process moving forward around these things are they benefited me. They were good for my life. They they allowed me to step into who I'm going to be stepping into moving forward. You're You're creating your future and creating a new future for yourself by going back into the past and accepting these things, forgiving these things, releasing these things. Because again, if you continue to hold on to them, then they're going to be in your subconscious mind, which is a part of your identity. Your identity leads to your beliefs, actions, results. So if you continue to hold on to those stories, it's going to continue to boggle your beliefs, which is B, which is going to cause you to continue to take action steps that aren't aligned with your highest self and what you truly want. And your results are going to remain the same, going to remain lower than what it is that you desire to have in your life. Myself, my beliefs were, my identity was my dad was in and out of jail and on drugs. My identity was I wasn't good enough. I wasn't worthy of the things that I want. That was my identity and those became my beliefs. I'm not worthy. I can't be successful. I can't be successful in business. I can't be successful in life. So then the action steps that I took my freshman year of college, drinking, partying, doing drugs, doing all these things that weren't going to allow me to become better. <clears throat> And those were my results. I was sick of myself. I was sick of life. I felt horrible around life. My results were me just drinking and partying. But then I got to look into all this and go through this three-step process, accept, forgive, and release, which allowed me to drop out of college because I knew that that was the right move for me, which allowed me to then begin in business and start businesses and build multiple six-figure businesses. By the time I was 24 years old, I built four six-figure businesses and I hired my dad at 22 years old to work for me. So it became full circle and it was beautiful. But in order for me to create those things and build the businesses and create that life that I wanted, I just used the word twice, you step into action step number four, which is create. Now, what does create mean? Create means you're getting clear on the goals that you have set for yourself. You're getting clear on the things that you want in your life. So you're creating your goals. Now, this is what I desire to achieve in life. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am achieving X, 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 whether it be business success, whether it be for your relationships, whatever it is, Obviously, you're on here because you want to step into a higher level of success, higher version of yourself, more business success, whatever position that you're in, you get to create the goals moving forward because whatever position that you're in right now is because of your identity and the things that you've been holding on to unknowingly, the weight that's been on your ankle. So now that you go through accept, forgive, and release, that's done. That identity is gone. Now you get to create a new life for yourself moving forward by reprogramming your mind, reprogramming your belief system. So setting these goals for yourself, getting clear on that, getting clear what those next steps are for you. We also have videos on like specific things that you do, such as affirmations, visualization, and whatnot to completely reprogram your identity. But now you create your goals and you create the life. By one, again, you're getting clear on your goals and then you begin to take the action. And because you are a new version of yourself and you release these things, Now you're actually going to take action and it's going to become habitual because you are a new version of yourself and you don't have the weight that's holding you back any longer. I know I keep making new weights here and here and here, but the weights that are holding onto your ankle, they're gone. 
So now you can take action with more speed, more accuracy, precision. You have a new identity, which is going to allow you to actually take the action steps that you know you should be taking instead of procrastinating and putting them off. Because a lot of us, we know what we should be doing, but we're just not doing it. Now it's time for you to step into a higher version of yourself so you are doing those things. So you do align with yourself. Reprogram your subconscious mind, again, is reprogram your identity, your belief system, that's going to create a completely new reality for yourself. Comment down below with which one of these steps you feel is most imperative to you, or if you feel all of them are, just comment all down below. But we have accept, forgive, release, and create. A lot of us go to the creation process, but we don't go through these three first. And because we don't go through these three, we're trying to create again as the same version of ourselves. So we're doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same results, trying the strategies, trying the tactics, but not actually creating what we want because we are the same person holding on to the same weights that are keeping us stuck. Don't do that anymore. Time to release it. If you enjoyed this video and you got this far, make sure to like and subscribe because we have plenty more videos coming your way in regard to allowing yourself to step into a higher version of who you are and who you desire to step into moving forward. We're also doing free 15-minute consult calls for men who are looking to step into a greater version of themselves, who have businesses set up already, who are looking to take their life to the next level, who have done certain work and now you're looking to take it to the next level. You can click on the, there's a link in the description in order to set up a free 15-minute consult call with myself where we'll go over or someone on my team where we'll go over what those next steps are for you and see if you're a good fit to join us in the accelerator. We also have a free masterclass, which you can click on the links below where we get deeper into different things of this sort. Allow yourself to rise and become a greater version of yourself. And I will catch you, my friend, in the next video. Let's get it done.